Hi everybody, I am Net Nursing Prep and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the difference between negative pressure and positive pressure isolation. So, let's get into it. This was a requested video, so thank you to the person who requested it. Starting with negative pressure, why is it called that? Where do these names come from? So, the air pressure inside the patient's room is lower than the air pressure outside. So in the hallway, at the nurse's station, on the rest of the floor, okay? So the air pressure in the room is lower than the outside air. And the reason for this is this helps to prevent pathogens from flowing out. So when you open the door to that patient's room, it kind of causes the air pressure to trap the pathogens in. It keeps them from wanting to leave and going to that area of higher pressure. We know that in the body, right? Blood flow, it likes to go to, from area of high pressure to an area of low pressure, right? Well, same thing in our environment, in our system. Air likes to flow in a lower pressure way. It doesn't ever want to go out to a higher pressure environment. So the point of this is to keep those germs, whatever they are, to keep those pathogens inside the room so they don't want to flow outside the room. And it also helps when we open that door to have that uncontaminated air, that outside air, go into the room, almost like a vacuum, right? So the patient is now also exposed to that good air, that clean air. So it prevents pathogens from flowing out and lets uncontaminated air flow in. These are typically used for patients who are on airborne precautions for certain things like tuberculosis, SARS, and COVID. A positive pressure room, the air pressure on the inside of the room is higher than the air pressure on the outside of the room. This helps prevent pathogens from coming into the room. Sometimes this is also called a protective environment, and this is used for immunocompromised patients. In summation, negative pressure, low pressure in the room, high pressure outside the room, so the air doesn't want to go out. Positive pressure, high pressure in the room prevents other air from coming in. In negative pressure rooms, we're keeping the pathogens in the room. We don't want them to go outside. We're protecting other people. In a positive pressure room, we're trying to avoid the pathogens. We're keeping them out of the room because we want to protect that patient in the room that's immunocompromised. So that's why your patient might have negative or positive pressure isolation. It depends on what's going on with them and do we want to keep those germs in there or do we want to prevent them from getting in there in the first place? Are we protecting the patient or are we protecting everybody else from these pathogens? that's going to make the difference on whether you have a negative or positive pressure isolation room. And that was my video. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.